Uh, a good idea just to have the rain jacket or the umbrella handy today. There's some early morning showers. By the time we get to 7 o'clock, most of uh, the metro area should be dry. Just a 20% chance of a, of a shower. But the impact icon in the afternoon will be watching for storms to bubble up near and north of the metro as we go between really 1 and 6 p.m. So may just want to keep it handy for the ride home, but we'll see those temperatures climb into the 70s again. This is a loop of the radar. The last half hour I've had some passing showers through Elkhorn, moving through Irvington, south of Bennington, over into Pottawatomie County, and another shower that passed near Utan, and another one moving through Elkhorn right now. And we've got a live look here at Methodist Women's Hospital. You see Dodge is wet, kicking up some of the... Uh, the uh, wetness on the roads driving by so damp conditions in the west part of the metro right now so again they've been fairly spotty overnight but again if you're out early this morning especially for six o'clock watch out for some of those wet roads for the early morning commute temperature wise we're very mild temperatures in the 50s and 60s to start the day 62 right now in omaha 63 Red Oak 56 right now in Lincoln. So this is the last little batch of showers they've had to overcome some dry air at the surface but again uh, Strong enough to uh, have a brief little downpour through parts of the metro. So this little last little batch of light showers pushing through the metro and then we'll more shift into southwest Iowa as we go after six, seven o'clock. So some early morning showers, but then we look out to the west. See this kind of counterclockwise spin here. Upper level low sitting across western South Dakota. This is going to move east today and as it does, we're going to watch for more storms to bubble up. And a few of those could be on the stronger side, mainly north of the metro. You see a marginal risk for severe weather far northeast Nebraska and more of west central Iowa. There's a lot of spin in the atmosphere, so any storms that do pop could rotate. We could see a few funnels and maybe a brief tornado in any of those storms that do uh, develop. Maybe a isolated large hail threat. Again, more north and east of the metro area, though we could still see uh, a few thunder showers in our area as we go through the afternoon. So let's walk through storm predictor again. Early morning showers move out, maybe a little damp for the early morning commute. Temperatures upper 60s, low 70s by noon. And then as we go toward 1, 2 o'clock, some of those storms starting to bubble up a little bit more. Again, mainly near and north of the metro area. If you're south of Omaha, you may just have a nice day with temperatures in the 70s. 5, 6 o'clock, a little more coverage, but again, mainly on the Iowa side, but still have to watch here with state soccer going on. Maybe have some lightning in the area. We'll have to watch, and then most of the activity pushes off to the east into the evening. And then tomorrow, starting off dry, and then late morning, early afternoon, may have to dodge another spotty shower. Temperatures a little bit cooler in the 60s, but then drying out on Friday. If it wasn't for the breeze, we'd be talking about top 10-day potential. Temperatures in the 70s, and then warming up into the 80s by Mother's Day Sunday. But again, impact weather day today. Have to watch out for some of those spotty showers and storms this afternoon. Good idea to have the KTV mobile app handy.